Hey everybody, Bat Merck here. Today I'm going to be reviewing Red Rooster. Uh, this one right here is by um, uh, Mitch Breitweiser. Uh, this is a book I backed a long time ago. Um, I've actually had it in my tower for a minute now. I don't even know how many months, but I've been wanting to get to it for a while. This is one of the first uh, CG books from back in the day that I backed. took a minute uh, for them to, to, to put it out. Um, it, uh, the book was in uh, Walmart for a while. Uh, the, the, the company uh, Allegiance, they were going to make a you know, some, some, some swift, sweet moves. They were going to have their books in, uh, Walmart, you know, so we could start getting some fucking comics in, uh, you know, in other places in the, than the failing comic book stores. Um, so that would have been really cool. It was in there for a while. I picked up a, a I believe Bass Reeves in there and Norris Saga, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, uh, both, uh, fantastic works of, um, comics. And, uh, yeah, I was waiting for this one. Um, I believe they sent the digital file, but I didn't want to, I didn't want to read that. I wanted the full, like, experience of getting this. Uh, this this is not something that you get at Walmart though. Um, it came with this awesome um, dust jacket, uh, this this Red Rooster trading card pack. I, I want to open these up, but I'm, I just can't. I can't do it. Um, this this uh, cool little sticker, and this Red Rooster sticker too. Um, this book, um, it's 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 got like a, a throwback to the old school days, you know, the the golden age of comics. And uh, the character is basically um, um, a a guy that's uh he's you don't really know all of his powers but you know that he's a you know bare knuckling uh butt kicker and um this is a uh, so written by um uh Mitch uh or no I'm sorry uh it's a uh, written the story's by Mitch Breitweiser with uh Mark Pellegrini and the colors are uh um by uh Elizabeth Breitweiser and uh yeah the artist is Mitch Breitweiser and uh it starts off with this guy Cooper and um He's basically it, it's it's a big. Well, I don't want to spoil it too much, but it, he's 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 on the road, and um, you're basically going to figure out why he's there. Uh, what drew me into this book was that it felt like a kind of like a cross between the Rocketeer and um, the Phantom, and that is exactly what I got um, when I signed up for this book. Um, uh, the, the the concept art just drew me in. Uh, it was something that really. Looked like a breath of fresh air. Even in, in uh, the regular mainstream comic book industry, they weren't doing anything of this, let alone Comics Gate. And uh, it, he delivered, man. Um, you got a cool uh, uh, cast right here of these these characters called the I believe it's the the Order of the Dawn, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, this is um, I believe it's Strong Boy, and you got his, his his little dog right there. I forget the name; it escapes me. But I really like this character right here, man. They're they're just going through the the heartland of America. I think his name is like Motormouth, <laughs> and. Um, you know, he's just whipping up his uh his whip, blam blam blam, shooting at him, and he just yanks him right there. I love this panel right here, man. It just he's got the yank and all all this stuff's going on right here, and then he punches him. Really cool character design right here, just for just for like a throwaway character. Good way to start the book up. Really love the design of Red Rooster. Um, this whole world that Mitch created, um, it really encompasses everything you would find in the heartland and also even like on a farm in a barn, you know, the, a lot of the story, it's, it's basically like a, it's like a, a, a barn, you know, like a, a farmland, uh, a epic. Uh, and it's, it, it really throws you right into the center of what, by meaning, uh, meaning epic. Um, his, his hideout is, is in a barn and he's, he's got these really cool, uh, really cool gadgets and whatnot. Um, Red Rooster's become this character in this world where he's basically kind of like a, um, uh, a commercial now. And uh, he's doing these like cola commercials and whatnot. And uh, he might be losing his, uh, his edge. And so um, it's during the Prohibition era. And even his, um, his buddy right here, the, um, the, the, the strong boy, he's, he's just telling him like, man, you're going weak. And he's, he's going after this, this cola salesman because he thinks he's got uh, some Kapow Cola. Uh, he's looking for some beer, and he's he's about to rough them up a bit, and they're just on edge, and so basically they get called into this uh, this this um, situation where they have to go back to their uh, their hometown, and uh, it kind of kind of gave me a little bit of a feel of uh, you know the old classic comics of Captain America and Superman, you know, being in Kansas and 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 all those good stories. There's a really cool um, team right here, or I'm sorry, a um, shot right here of these bad guys, man really cool like the i love the way that they just set this up the, the the colors are popping in here very painterly looking the the style of uh the brightweisers when they combined their their talents together kind of gives me like a, a european look to it i don't really know who their inspirations were but that's just again the the feel that i get when i'm when i'm going through the story but i love this shot right here you know you got a uh what is it doris bernard alias jack rabbit you got reginald thorndrake 
or Thorndike alias the 4D Man. Zebulian Slauson alias Vermin Eater. You got a uh, name unknown, Phantom Footsteps. Uh, Mackenzie Slugmug. And uh, you got Nigel Glycerin alias Fire for Hire. And uh, th these are the, the rogues, you know. This is like the, the Ministry of Evil. And uh, the um, the Red Rooster and his, his team, he's got his own team called the Order of the Dawn. They're going to have to go up against these guys too. Now, like I was saying earlier, he's got this barn. It's kind of like his bat cave, if you will. It's fucking awesome. You got the, the, the spare costume right here. You got like the Rooster Mobile. Uh, you got his uh, his computer. It's it's all, you know. I don't know what, what if this would be. It's probably Proto Diesel. Hmm, diesel punk, but um, I don't know. It's like the the fifties era, not or nineteen forties era, or actually, yeah, yeah, I think it's the forties, um, or maybe even thirties. It's hard for me to because it's the prohibition, so or twenties. That's the roaring twenties. Um, but yeah, this is uh, I don't I'm not sure if it's in our in our uh timeline or not, but either way, it's definitely like it's got that old school feel to it, which I love. Um, every little thing you could think of in here, it's a uh, it's definitely barn related. Now, when 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 he was saying that it was going to be, um, I think it was saying like a barnstorming adventure. I thought, hmm, that sounds that sounds pretty cool. You know, I don't really know like, you know, what that what that would encompass, but that sounds pretty cool. And that's exactly what you get. Um, you get this crazy like adventure. That's uh, there's there's a fair out there, and you get um, uh, basically like they they have a. Uh, a plane that's flying around out in the farmland and you, you got the, 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 like I said, the headquarters and, and just a big, big adventure out in the middle of nowhere. And, uh, they, they really pull it off. Um, I don't know if you guys, uh, seen the movie, the Phantom, but there's a really cool, uh, uh airplane chase sequence in there. It, it really made me think of that. And the rocketeer, um, definitely felt, gave me the feels of that too. The, the story, uh, didn't go the way, it, uh, the way I thought it would go. Uh, it really pulls on the heartstrings and it, and it, it's, you know, it's, he's not your your typical like um, do gooder that's gonna win every fight, and it's it's very um, unpredictable. I definitely give this story two horns way up. I can't wait for the sequel, um, and I really like what what they did right here with the uh, with the with the dust jacket. It's actually a um, die cut, so it comes in like they're just like that. Even his name Cooper, you know, like the, the coop, and a lot of the the, uh, the writing in here is really there's a lot of a lot of little um, little jokes with you know with uh cock -a doodle doo and, and whatnot like that and uh just it's a really cool story it was a pleasant surprise it's not something you see that many days uh, in indie books where they're dealing with these these old school themes uh if you guys want you could check them out on their, their website allegiance arts they actually have this uh book i was saying about Nora saga this is on here by uh, kelsey shannon and um yeah it's his his book too you could check that out that book's pretty awesome if you got kids probably gonna love it but the red rooster uh, sections over here i believe you just go right there, sorry. And you can come here and back all those books if you want to pick them up and get the single issues. Highly recommend those. I can't wait for the, the second, uh, was it Season? That's it, Light, or Light Braves the Darkness. Darkness Fears the Dawn. Pretty cool little catchphrases. Yeah, man, it's a really cool character. Really cool character design. I, I really like it. If you guys want, you can check out my book. It's called Butch Cleaver. I got a Kickstarter I just launched yesterday. I got the first and second graphic novel up right now. It's about a butcher that gets killed, and he's brought back to life by a voodoo curse, and that curse gives him the power to weaponize bone on a molecular level. So he tries to use that power for revenge, reckoning, and maybe redemption. And, uh, yeah, man, um, I got the first two books on here, and um, we're offering a bunch of different trading cards and stickers for the first 50 backers. Um, I'm also going to do a, um, um, a special poster, 11 by 17. Um, so hopefully we'll be announcing or I'll be showing the art for that soon. So... If you guys want, you can come check this out, and I'll have a link for those in the description. And uh, basically, what I wanted to do with that Kickstarter is I wanted to introduce my comic Butch Cleaver to the the Kickstarter universe or fan base, you know, because some people only do Kickstarter, and then some people only do uh, uh, Indiegogo. So, uh, and it also, I wanted to add it came in this sick Gemini mailer. Uh, I haven't seen one of these before, so that was pretty cool. Yeah, and I was at the beer store today, and I came upon this Courage Lager, and it made me think of the uh, the Red Rooster. Old Cooper. It's a German lager and it's about 5%. So usually those German beers are, they're kind of lower on the alcohol um, percentage. So you could probably drink more like Das Boot. The early bird gets the worm. So they say waking up early every day, fending off the other fowl for some uh, paltry scraps thrown across the ground. That type of life isn't for me. I need something more 
meaningful and that's why I hit the road it hasn't been easy odd jobs here and there dodging cars simply to get <laughs> get up to the other side I'm all beat up but at least I'm free free to <laughs> free to be bold and to take the risk in search of those greener pastures courage lager a German lager hybrid brewed with a German Pilsner malt German lager yeast and American crystal hops so that's Without giving too much away, I, I didn't even freaking read the back of that. But that has something a little bit to do with the old Cooper over here. So I didn't, you know, that was just dumb luck. So I'll go ahead and take a crack at that. Again, I love the way the, it, it's not Norman Rockwell, but for some reason, their artwork gives me a Norman Rockwell feel to it. And again, I, I said it this probably the third time. If you like the Rocketeer and the Phantom, then you're probably going to love this fucking book. That, uh, so, many, so many scenes in there made me think about it. Yeah, it smells pretty clean. Go ahead and take a tug off this. Wow, that is that is stupid smooth. Wow, delicious. Courage Lager. Yeah, definitely two horns up. I was gonna try to only give it one horn up, guys. You know, but I can't help it. This beer is delicious. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you guys want, you can hit the like or subscribe. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for taking the time to watch this. Have a great weekend. Be bold. Be brave. And remember, roll the bones to know your role. See you guys later.